All right, all right. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing well. Stay safe and healthy. I'm just making this quick and simple video uh, about console commands. It's just to help everyone out. Uh, I'm not really talking about the guys that's experienced or played the game for a long time because you probably know most of them anyway. So I'm not going to go through all the common ones, but uh, I will go through them briefly just for the new starters or the players that don't know them yet. But then I got something more up on my sleeve. Uh, it will be uh, two commands that um, not much people know about and one of them I have not found anyone talking about it in my research uh, and it did solve a lot of my problem okay so that's just something that I like to share with this uh, in this video and also there's some comments like uh, that would definitely help for a new starter especially um, for people that setting up like triple screens okay so let's get into it first of all just to look after the guys that's new um, this is how you set up the console command Okay, first you go into the folder where your mods and your profiles are stored Underneath you will find a config.cfg file Okay, you open it up, you use like notepad or plus plus Put in the keyword developer And then you will notice that uh, there's a usage g developer with the value of zero Just put that, change that zero to one Save the notepad and go back in game you have to activate your dev console and when you in game this is the button that you press i forgot totally forgot what it's called this is the press to activate the console command okay you will get the um, command layout to come out so you can type in your command this button is located next to your number one on your keyboard underneath the escape button and, and 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 on top of the tab button okay so this this is just how to um turn it on and use it there is like some commands I think is a must know for everyone. Most people will know it already, um, but just to look after the new people, I'm just gonna go through them quickly and briefly. So uh, if if I go too fast, just pause the video so you can check out the command, and I will make sure that I'll enlarge it in this video so people don't miss out. They are so easy to find in um, just by Google. Okay, so the first one is to set time. G set time. This hashtag is just the time that you put in. The game uses 24 hour format and um, the time only travels forward. Okay, so for example, if you want to go to eight o'clock in the morning, you put in 0800, okay? But if you want uh, if you want to uh, go to 830, 0830. Okay, as simple as that. Night time will be 2000 for eight o'clock or 20, uh, 30. that's like 830 at night time. Okay, so it's pretty simple. The next one on this list will be go to the XX here, the three X's are just your city name. Okay, so you type in go to space, the city name that will teleport you to the city that you want to go. So you don't have to always have a job close by. You can go to pretty much any city within the instance. Okay, um, let's use San Francisco for an example, because I believe that's where most people will have a trouble. If you put in go to send space, Francisco a lot of times it doesn't go there because part of the name is being shared by another city So what you want to do is just to uh, type in go to Francisco and that will take you to San Francisco or even Fran like F-R-A-N like part of the name will be fine. Just try uh, not to put in the name that's shared by some cities Okay, and you'll do just fine and the other one the last one on this list it will be like GZ weather um, this one just to change the weather zero being I think uh, it's just the default so one and then one being the rainy days so um, this is just how you toggle between weathers okay and I believe uh, if you put in like an F behind the one that you will change it straight away instead of gradually progressing into the weather that you changed okay so that's the one that I think is a must know to improve your driving experiences the next one is more like a common command. You don't use it that much, but uh, you do use it every now and then in the, in the game. The first one is the steering wheel. Steering wheel uh, is just to like turn through steering wheel on and off so you can see it visually inside the game or not. For myself, I personally use the track dash as my dashboard. So I don't want the uh, steering wheel to be there to, uh, to block my view of the dash. So I just turn them off. So, but for people that's generally just using one screen or whatsoever, you do want to leave it on. But that's it's just a command to turn it on and off. 
Next one is Minicon. Minicon basically, uh, when you turn it on, you'll be like a section above your screen, which tell you the status. So uh, you get your FPS and all that good stuff. But you're only gonna use it probably once or twice ever. Next one is the set skybox. Uh, depends what you use. If it's like default setting or you have some uh, weather mod or like you use like JBX, you can change the skyboxes. Uh, it's like this hashtag is just the numbers from zero to like one, two, three, four. Depends how many skyboxes there is offering. Uh, and then after that, you'll be able to say. So um, you can play around with the skyboxes here. Next one on the list will be traffic. Traffic, uh, some people, uh, this just to multiply the amount of traffic that you gave in the game, but do uh, take in mind that um, it does take a hit on your FPS, okay? So with this one, I would actually advise people to just leave it as default and uh, go find uh, traffic mods in Steam Workshop. There's tons of um, guys out there talented enough to make like a smart one where um, the, UI, uh, the AI will uh, um, adjust accordingly to time and location of the game. If you have like a lot of FPS problem, maybe you would like to turn this one down. Okay. And then we come to Bloom, G Bloom. Okay, Bloom is that glow effect next to, next to your light. So, and when you do some night driving, the street lights or the car in front of you, the truck in front of you, they have that glow on their light. Some people like it, some people don't. For me, I personally, I tune it down to like 0 0.2. Yes, you can do decimal points for some of these commands. 0 0.2 so that gives like a slight glow look more realistic but also at the same time is uh, it's just better for my eyes and then the last one on this list is warp warp basically changes the time uh, the speed of the time inside the game so you can turn it down and you will go really slowly or you can just speed it up you'll notice everything just go fast your time and the traffic next to you you'll just fly past okay this one is something for you guys to play around with these two are the useless command in my opinion but then some people might, might have a better use for it than myself so uh, the first one is fly speed fly speed basically you can control with your um, third mouse um, button the scroll button so I don't find this that effective but maybe someone, um, some people out there they don't have that scroll on their mouse so you can fine tune this to the flying speed and the next one is show game elements this one i don't know why this is a thing basically what it does is it uh, it turns on and off of that green icon in game so when you go to like a like a like a like a fuel station or um your pickup point there's that green logo what well, uh, not logo icon you can activate your job or your things it just turns that on and off maybe because before you had to take a screenshot instead of like a photo function they're providing now so that's probably for that i'm not too sure but uh it is there for people to use for the game elements i do advise people that if you want something like that you can go to steam workshop there's people that's um, offering mods that changes the icon to something else like to be more realistic stuff like for example lines on the ground or witch's hat or um, I believe I've seen some uh, users like a sheet of newspaper or like plastic bag type of like a rubbish on the floor just to indicate that's the uh, location of the icon so you can use that for that now what's up my sleeve is the two special commands that uh, um, I struggled with it really stressed me out but uh, eventually I found out as a solution first is the interior volume okay I've seen numerous amount of people asking for the interior volume um, you can google this uh, people do list it out okay maybe I just didn't see it when I've been a new player you know you're not really looking with all this uh, text that's happening inside the post but this one you can find in the search okay you can tune up the volume like your blinker sound your light switches and uh, your window you know when you click the window and the window comes down when you shift your shifter that uh, shifting sound inside of the truck because sometimes the engine sound is too loud but especially when you're revving it up so this can um, increase the volume of interior but just use it accordingly to what you need just fine-tune it to the volume that you know is suitable for you next one on this list is something that troubled me the most i did tons of research and i just couldn't find anyone talking about it one day my brain just clicked 
and it totally relieved me from my problem. It's nothing special. It's the navigation volume. I know, I know. It's like it's like oh, you know, the voice of G,、um, GPS. You can turn it inside the game. Yes, you can. But what I've encountered was when I use、um, Zmod's GPS, the、uh, the voice is too low in my opinion, especially when some of the loud truck that you have.、Um, You can barely hear the actual voice of the GPS. Some people don't even like the voice; they turn it off. But for me, I like it because it reminds me of、uh, to take a turn or not. Because sometimes I do miss a turn, so、um, I use it a lot. And I believe I'm not the only one out there. So navigation underscore volume. You can turn it up pretty high. Like you can, you will not miss it at all. Okay, you you can be way too loud. So normally you can keep it at a, like a 1.5 or like a two, and that will be loud enough to hear it even over the engine sound. Something for you guys to、uh, play around with for people that、um, needed that GPS voice like myself. And then the last one is nothing too special, especially for the experienced players. But for me, it gave me a tons of headache for weeks. Okay, when I first started, is the display adjustment command, especially when you set it up the triple screen. Okay, it does not apply to other people, but for people that's using multiple screens, this one will save your life. Okay, when you first using it, even just to adjust your、uh, field of view, your FOV, the slider in the game doesn't work for people that have multiple screens. So this one will help you in game. You can see your、uh, field of view inside the game, so you can fine tune it there, looking at it. Instead of like you know, you come in, you look, you don't like it, you exit the game, edit the file, come back in, you don't like it, and you just repeat, repeat, repeat until you find the right one. And a lot of times, because you're just tuning that one or two degrees, and、uh, you can't, you can barely tell tell the difference when you come back into the game. Okay, so this was useful for that. So basically, this is this is the command here: uh, multi von, uh, multi mon FOV horizontal, and this is the figure you put in. A lot of this command can be used、uh, positive or negative numbers, and then also、um, you can have decimal points. Okay, I'm not sure about the、uh, the field of view, but、uh, for other commands, what I'm going to talk about, you can use that for that. Okay, so this one gives you the ability to change your field of view inside the game, inside your cabin. It's only applied to people that have multiple screens. Okay, so like with people that has a single screen, don't worry about it. You can do it with the slider. And the next one is Motomon Border FOV. Okay, this basically just to change the thickness of your bezel in game while looking at it. This is your left and right. That's all there is. The commands like R、uh, Motomon Border FOV. Okay, and then you can put your、uh, numbers behind. So for example, my、um, right side monitor. I believe I put minus zero point one uh zero point one eight or something like that, just to fine tune it. And the last one of the command about this display adjustment is the Motomon Vert Offset. This is to adjust the、um, height of your left and right screen, just to make it align to your center screen. Sometimes, yes, you probably set up your triple screen or your dual screen, like you think it's flat. But the in-game image is not okay. This one just to、um, use your center screen as the base, and you can adjust the height of the image of your left and right screen to line it up. When I first started, it stressed me out so much. I did drove for a while. My things are not aligned, and it's just like an eyesore. It's visually upsetting me. But this would definitely solve your problem. You can fine tune it. And this is especially for people that are just setting it up, or like、um, switching from a single screen to a dual screen, or a triple screen, or even、um, like four screen setup. Okay, I hope it helps everyone out. I don't think I ever asked anyone to、um, subscribe, share, and like my videos. I'm pretty sure it's the only one, and will be the only one that I ask everyone to share, because it definitely will help people out, especially the new starters.、Uh, for the common、um, comments, basically you can find it anywhere on Google. It's fine. But just that the one I said is more unique. The interior volume, you can still find that one, and the navigation volume where、um, you cannot, and also the display adjustment commands that you can use in game. There is commands that you can rotate、uh, 
their screen, left or right, but then I don't think that's much practical in most scenarios. Okay, so that's everything about this video. I hope you guys will like it and enjoy it and find useful to it. And please, seriously, share it to people that I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there would love to know this and to adjust their settings to make their games more pleasing and enjoyable. Anyway, I'll um, talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.